Alright guys, today we are going to be replacing the spark plugs on the Toyota Prius 2012. It's only for third generation Prius, so anything 2010 and above. Uh, this is the step on how to replace your spark plugs. So first, what you want to do is to remove the wiper arm blade assembly. So you want to remove the right one and the left one. So to do that, you want to remove this clip. You use your hand or finger or whatever to remove it. And you need a 14 millimeter socket to take it off. just come off like that actually you want to bend the blade the whole blade and then just pop it up like that next you want to remove the cow side ventilator sub assembly go ahead and get a screwdriver and just pry underneath pry it and then pull it down and it comes off like that there you go I'm going to do that with the left side and now we'll do that with the right side now. So what I said earlier to pry on is to pry on this crack right here. Go ahead and pry on it. And you want to pull it down. That's how you take off this piece. You want to remove this clip right here and there's another clip on the left hand side of the vehicle. So to remove this clip you want to just use a screwdriver, flathead what may be, just press down on it and it'll disengage and just go ahead and press up and that's how it comes out and same with the side next you want to take this whole piece off there's one, two, three, four, five claws that you just have to Press in and disengage it from the plastic panel. And just go ahead and pull down. get this thing off. There you go. Now that you want to remove the windshield wiper motor and the link assembly. Also you want to operate the wiper and stop the windshield wiper motor at the automatic stop position. Next you want to disconnect this connector right here and there's about three of this clamp right here that you got to remove and I'll show you how. So disconnect this connector right here. Just press on the bottom right here. press right here and just pull out As for this you need a screwdriver or a flathead this is a flathead let's go ahead and poke down here once that came out there you go that's the second side as for these two you want to use this plier angle plier so you get you can go ahead and squeeze underneath here and just press on it disengage disengage the clamp there you go same with this one gotta go underneath it next you want to remove this four bolt there's one right here two right there three and four 
So this bolt is a 10 millimeter. So I'm using a 10 millimeter socket to remove it. Once you take off the bolt, just go ahead and pull this whole assembly out. It's stuck on by the grommet right there, so just go ahead and pull it. And be careful of hitting the windshield, and just get this last clip right here off. Make sure when you're taking out the motor, assembly just slide this motor assembly to the left so that you can get the grommet out so it's a hold on by this in the back so make sure that you slide out instead of pulling it now you want to remove this reinforcement bracket it's a 10 millimeter socket with an extension Make sure you bend this water guard plate right here so that when you pull out this whole piece it will come off and without hitting this. So you have a total of 9 bolts that you got to take off from the Caltops panel sub assembly. There's 3 on the right side and there's 6 bolts on the left side and they are 10 millimeter bolt.
Next, you want to pull this whole panel out. Make sure you pull it from the angle. Pull it from like this. Now you want to remove this cover. Just go ahead and pull it up. Don't worry about damaging it. It's basically on grommets. Now you want to take the connectors off. Then you want to take these 10 millimeter bolts off. Go ahead and pull the ignition coil out. So for the spark plugs, it's a 9 and 16 spark plug. Make sure you bring it, put it in. Press down really hard, make sure it's not loose. Just go ahead and loosen the spark plug. There you go. You want to do this with all four? There you go. Make sure don't strip the spark plug threads. So once you have your new spark plugs, make sure you put on anti-seize grease, a little bit only, on, put on all four. Now you want to put the spark plugs back in. Go ahead and hand tighten it first.
So when you're torquing down your spark plug, make sure it's 20 foot pounds. There you go. Make sure to lube your ignition coil with that electric grease. Do all in all four of them. Now you're ready to put it back in. This should be torqued down 10 foot pound. Back all the connectors. Put back the cover on. Now you want to put in the panel sub assembly. Make sure it's angled. Put back the nine bolts.
So next you want to put this reinforcement bracket back. Now you want to put the wiper motor and link assembly back. Make sure you slide the grommet back in. Line up your holes, put your bolt back in. And again. Next, flip back your wires. And reconnect your connector. Now you want to put your cow top back in. Make sure it clips back in. Now you want to put your side back in. Make sure to put this clip back. Last but not least, the wiper blade arm.
Last but not least, the clip. 